Hi, this is Francis with Magic Lantern. Today we'll be going over how to configure and create a focus stacked image with Magic Lantern, a free and open source firmware add-on for Canon Digital SLRs. We'll finish up the tutorial with one post-production technique using Lightroom 4 and Photoshop CS6. In this example, we have a Canon 5D Mark II running Magic Lantern version 2.3 with a Canon 100mm 2.8 macro lens. We're using a Paul C. Buff Einstein monolight with an 8.5 inch reflector and syncing with CyberSync triggers. We're lighting the scene as opposed to using ambient for a few reasons. First, it allows us to use a low ISO. Second, the short flash duration eliminates any camera shake. And finally, the consistent output of the strobe keeps us from having to worry about any potential changes in the lighting in the middle of the focus stack. Let's get started. We'll begin by powering on and switching to live view mode. Note that focus stacking only works in live view mode. Also note that because I'm using a more current nightly build, my menus might not look exactly the same as yours, but equivalent options are available on almost every model. Once Live View is on, you can see that our display is blank. This is not because the lens cap is on, but rather because Exposure Simulation is on. We disable Exposure Sim by entering the Magic Lantern menu, and under the Expo menu, change Live View Display to Photo, No Exposure Sim. Now that we can see our subject, we are going to re-enter the Magic Lantern menu to enable some overlays to help with exposure and focus. Under the Overlay menu, first set Global Draw to On in all modes, then enable Zebras, Focus Peaking, and the Histogram. Note the red warning that the Histogram and Zebras will not be shown in Live View due to exposure simulation being off, but will be available in Image Review mode. Next, we are going to ensure that our autofocus is enabled on the lens barrel and turn on follow focus under the focus menu. After some experimentation, set the focus step settings to an appropriate step size and delay depending on your lens. Exiting the Magic Lantern menu, we are now going to set our focus points in Live View using the multi-controller. First, we are going to select the edge of the crystal closest to the camera and take a test shot. In image review mode, we are going to zoom in and check our focus and exposure. Pressing the picture style button brings up our enabled Magic Lantern overlays in image review, showing acceptable focus and good exposure. Now it's time to finish configuring our focus points. Back under the Magic Lantern menu, we are going to set the current focus as our end point. Select Focus Endpoint and press Set. Next we will choose our starting point by pressing the Magnify button and again using the multi-controller to select the starting point. Pressing magnify again, we are back in the focus menu where we will set the step size and number of images taken in the stack. Notice that when selecting stack focus, it is indicated that 20 images will be taken with the current setting. That is too many for our purpose, so we will adjust the steps per pick up to 6 from 3 to decrease the number of images taken down to 10. By default, our trigger mode is pressing play. Pressing the picture style button, we exit the stack focus submenu and start our focus stack by pressing play. The camera will now proceed to adjust the focus by our preset number of steps after each exposure until the entire range is covered. While that is underway, I'm going to show you another great feature of Magic Lantern that is often helpful in macro photography. Shooting so low to the ground sometimes requires mounting the camera upside down on a tripod or other support. Using Magic Lantern, it is possible to flip the display overlays of both Magic Lantern and Canon by selecting Upside Down Mode under Display Advanced Settings. Now back to our stack, which has just a couple of frames left. Thank you. 
Now that our stack is completed, we're going to do a quick check of each of the images under image review, just to make sure there were no flash misfires or any other issue. Everything looks good, so we're going to go ahead and power down the camera and remove the card to transfer the images. One important step whenever using Magic Lantern is that after opening the card door, wait 2-3 to three seconds for the LED blink confirming that it is safe to remove the card. This is true of every model except the 550D. So now we have imported each stacked image into Lightroom and done some basic editing including white balance, exposure, contrast, saturation, and sharpening. And after each image's settings are synchronized, we select all, right click, and go to edit in, and open as layers in Photoshop. This function will create one document in Photoshop with each image loaded to an individual layer. After the raw conversion has taken place for each stack, the new document is loaded. And we're going to select all layers and align them by going to Edit and Auto Align Layers. This step resizes and aligns each layer to correct for any shift due to the changing focal distance. After each layer is aligned, we blend them by going to Edit and Auto Blend Layers. Make sure Stack Images is selected and click OK. This then evaluates each layer for an acceptable degree of sharpness and blends the layers using non-destructive layer masks. These masks are totally editable and non-destructive in case the blending algorithm makes some mistakes. We can always go back to each layer mask and brush in any corrections to the appropriate stack. We are left with a tack sharp image from front to back. As we can see in this example, there are still some regions of the image that are out of focus that we could correct in the layer mask, but instead we're going to take the easy way out and crop these regions out. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to putting together more tutorials for you in the future. Let us know what you'd like to see in the forums at www.magiclantern.fm.